uh, Brainchild uh, came about as an attempt to bring parents and children who are suffering from the ordeal of having a brain tumor together uh, to work towards better solutions to their problems. And uh, there were many parents who wanted to come together to talk over the problems that they had, and they had nowhere to go. The typical cancer agencies that helped look after uh, children uh, were not uh, exactly perfect for those children with brain tumors, and hence there was a requirement to start up uh, the group that we did, which was called Brainchild. So over 10 years ago, we got together in a room. We were able to discuss what our mission should be. Parents were very vocal about what they wanted out of the group. And uh, myself as medical director and Susan Ori as the nurse liaison director, were able to work with them to establish Brainchild as an organization. And working with the Hospital for Sick Children Foundation, we were able to uh, work towards a mechanism by which both Brainchild and Sick Kids Foundation could be worked into helping uh, children with uh, brain tumors. So uh, Brainchild initially started as a parent support group, uh, but in addition to helping with issues that uh, children were suffering from with their disorder, the group made it a mandate to raise um, funds for brain tumor research. As a result, over the years, uh, a number of um, Charitable events were organized, which led to the um, bringing in of uh, dollars and funds for the research work. Initially, it was small, on a small scale, but eventually what happened was the uh, organization has raised over $3 million to support uh, research at the Hospital for Sick Children. It's so important that we have these funds for a variety of reasons. The funds allow us to purchase the latest and uh, best equipment, uh, which we have done over the years thanks to the brainchild support. These pieces of equipment include a centrifuge, a uh, polymerase chain reaction machine, and also more, more recently, a sophisticated state-of-the-art uh, confocal light microscopy unit, which enables us to see um, tissues down to the level of the angstrom or the uh, micrometer and have enhanced our research. That particular piece of equipment has a price tag of over $200,000, uh, for example. So in addition, however, to supporting the research work that we're doing with equipment purchases, probably more importantly, the money from Brainchild has enabled us to seed uh, funding towards new proposals, new grants that um, would otherwise not be able to receive funding from the national agencies, mostly because the preliminary data would not be strong enough to go for a full grant. And then with those pilot proposals and uh, seed funding from Brainchild, the investigator subsequently can apply for a larger grant and be successful at the agencies such as the National Cancer Institute, the Canadian Institute of Health Research, among many others. So I wanted to take this opportunity to thank Brainchild specifically for being there, not only for the, the children who are suffering from this disorder, but also for their support of the research work that we're doing, because without it, uh, we would not have established the Brain Tumor Research Center to the degree that it is, we would not have had an opportunity to recruit so many scientists and research investigators, their students, postdoctoral fellows, and others that have come to work with us in the Labatt Brain Tumor Research Center. So Brainchild has played an integral role in allowing us to expand our research uh, profile so that now our center is on par with all centers across North America. Thank you, Brainchild.